<laughs> it's live. But it's okay. That's fine. We don't know what we're doing. We what have no clue. <laughs> Moderately beloved, we are gathered here today at the heart of the nation's capital for a celebration. A celebration of love, commitment, of friendship, family, and of two people who are in it together forever. You don't have to have a ceremony to have a marriage. And when you think about it, the whole thing is kind of weird. You're standing up here on stage, dressed in your best, being stared at by the people closest to you. So why do we do it? Life is full of watershed moments. Why is it so important to turn this one into something of a spectacle? to share it with others, to open ourselves as a spectacle in a moment of vulnerability. Because love is one of the few things that we know we're doing right. No matter who we are, where we've come from, what we believe, love is something that we all share. It's our great unifier, our universal truth. It's why you're both standing here. It's why you're all here and at home watching them. We've all loved in our lifetime, and it's these moments that remind us that love is real, the ability to love is real, and that it is the best part of our humanity. All of us have our own love stories. Some are short, some are long, some are unwritten, some are just getting to the good part. They all have chapters that are sad or disappointing, but the chapters full of excitement and adventure are the very thing that we live to write. I've known Philip for more than a decade, and I remember the first time I met Alexandra. They both, they both hopped out of Philip's Honda Civic, and after listening to them prattle on for about two minutes, I remember thinking, so he's into photography now. <laughs> This'll last. But my cynicism was misplaced. Every time I see these two irreverent psychopaths, they have the same energy that they had toward one another the first day that I ever saw them together six years ago. If that's not love, if that's not true love, especially considering the fact that they spend just about every waking moment together, then I'm not sure what love is. That brings them here, a time to pause, a time to look back and smile at the moments that brought them here, and to look ahead to the moments still to come. I'm here, we're all here, because we want these moments for you. We're here to hope with you, to support you, and also to remind you that love isn't happily ever after. It's the experience of writing your story. It's not one moment, not even this moment. It's all of the moments together. Big ones, like moving in together or getting engaged, but a million little moments that come between the big ones. Falling asleep together, making dinner together, sometimes at four o'clock in the morning, <laughs> Netflix binging together, pulling an all-nighter to finish a project together. All of these moments fuse together to become your story. Even though our words often fail to truly tell our stories, after all, love is meant to be felt, not to be described, I'm trying to describe it as one of our favorite pastimes. As hard as it is to describe, we know it when we see it, and we see it here. And now I want to give Philip and Alexander each other a chance to put their own visions of their story into words. Do you have vows that you would like to share, Philip? Hmm. So, we didn't write anything for everybody watching <laughs> because we don't feel like we needed to write anything. <laughs> it just needs to come straight from the heart. But the way I wanted to do mine, I kind of wanted to just have more of a personal moment, so.
Alexander, would you like to share something? Yes. I feel like I could honestly talk forever and I could write you a million cards over and over in letters and always tell you something new. But if there's one thing that you've showed me in life, it's definitely that. Love is real and it's genuine and it's sincere and it's patient and kind. And I honestly didn't ever think that I would want to get married. <laughs> and if I did, I wasn't going to change my last name. And obviously you changed that. And that was a big deal for me. And that truly means that I want to be with you forever for the rest of my life. And I know you're my soulmate. We're the puzzle pieces in the middle that fit together. And I hope we have many years together. <laughs> Always have crazy adventures and run late <laughs> and forget things and procrastinate. But that's us, and it works. And even in the six years that we've been together, I honestly feel like we've been together way longer than even 30 or 40 years. And I hope for so many with you. But I want to keep writing our story every single day and having special little moments and I always take time for the little things. And if one thing you've definitely taught me in life is that the small moments mean more than anything and they add up to the big piece. And you showed me what real true love is and I want to always keep that and I love you and I promise to love you forever and ever you both made promises to each other and I know that you intend to keep them I'm going to ask you to make a few more as you exchange these words I ask you to also exchange the rings because words and rings are both symbolic of the promise that you're making to each other today <laughs> Do you, Philip, promise to keep Alexandra as your favorite person? Will you work every day to bring out the best in her and to support her when the worst comes out instead? and to continue to find new reasons to love her for the rest of your lives, place the ring. <laughs> Do you, Alexandra, promise to keep Philip as your favorite person? Will you work every day to bring out the best in him and to support him when the worst comes out instead? and to continue to find new reasons to love him for the rest of your lives? I do. Place the ring. And then by the power vested in me by absolutely no one, I now pronounce you husband <laughs> and wife. Now kiss each other to put an exclamation point on this thing. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Philip and Alexandra. <laughs> yeah! Wait, you ready? Okay, let's go. Are you going to jump? Yeah, are we going to do the handshake? <laughs> okay, here. We got, we got something special for you guys. You ready? Okay. Ready? Help it. <laughs> One, two. There we go. Yeah! Joey and Alicia, we made that when we were at your house. Remember? Yep. Alright, so what are we doing? Alright, let's jump. And then that'll be it. You can cut the feed. Here we go. One, <laughs> two, three. Woo! <laughs>